What's up everybody? Josh Powell here. Welcome back to Amateur Pool. Today we've got another league match for you. Uh, this league match was played at Side Pockets. I think I previously posted a video with me and Teddy Stout Jr. And I mentioned in that video I played his brother just before. Uh, this is that match. So I'm playing Roger Stout Jr. Don't ask me how Ted Stout and Roger Stout can be brothers and both be juniors. Maybe their dad's name is Teddy Roger? Hell if I know. Your guess is as good as mine, but this is the match. Let's check it out and get into it. So we're playing nine ball. Teddy won the lag. And uh, looks like he broke a ball in. Made a good hit on the one. Couldn't really do much with that. It was buried, so he had to make a good hit. He had to kick at it. It's a good shot. Uh, he made one on the break. So Teddy's a skill level eight which means he needs 65 points, and I need 75 points. So I'm spotting him 10 balls, uh, which isn't really a big spot when you get up to that level, but uh, I'm going to make the one. Can't do nothing with the two, it doesn't look like. I'm going to try, though. Let's see. I think I was trying to come down maybe to bank it cross side, but <clears throat> from here, I don't know what the hell I can do. Maybe a safety of some kind. Um, may still try to cut it and bank it, yep. Did. Try to cut it and bank it. Couldn't really do a whole lot with that. The two may have leaked out past that seven enough for uh, Roger to make it in the side. I'm not 100% certain from this angle, but we'll see. Let's see what he does. Ooh, close. Close shot. Good try. Hope everyone had a great Memorial Day weekend. Um, I know I haven't... Uh, Posted a little short video, but I wanted to officially thank everybody. I appreciate you guys. I've got a thousand subs now. Uh, three months it took. Felt like an eternity, but um, man, I'm happy to be there. It's awesome bringing you guys this content. I'm glad you guys like it, or at least a thousand of you like it enough to hit subscribe. Uh, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, click the button. Just click it. It's not a big deal. It only takes you a second. It doesn't even cost you anything. Click, click. What's that guy standing there with the backwards uh, car hire hat? Move out of the way, bud. I'm trying to I'm trying to record a match here. All right. Roger missed that seven ball, likely because his teammate was standing right in front of the table while he was shooting. But, I mean, that's on him. It's his teammate. By the way, now that I'm sponsored, or <laughs> now, that I'm, now that I'm monetized, still not sponsored. Figure that shit out. Ooh, what a sweet kick shot I just made there. Give myself a little pat on the back for that one. It's a pretty good shot. I can slide this uh, five ball straight down pretty easy, it looks like. No? It must not have went past the seven. Yeah, from here it looked like I could get it past the seven, but at the table it must have looked different. Roger's probably going to shoot this all the way up, I would imagine. I can't see him trying to cut it inside from there. Yep, good shot. Ah, uh, he fell a little bit underneath of that six ball. I know he wanted to be a little higher, so the cut was easier, but I think he'll still cut it into the corner, it looks like. Now it's a thin cut, though. Yeah, it was definitely missable at that angle. This guy, this guy with the backwards hat, man. He's not happy about something. I think he's playing on the other table. All right. Brings me back to the table. With a shot like this, I like to play it rail first. Yep. That way there's no chance of scratching. I'm on the, the cue ball's on the back rail, so I can't put draw on it. So I shoot it rail first so I don't follow it in and scratch. Uh, Came out with good shapes on that seven, made the seven, got a little close to my work on that eight ball. Can probably make it work here, but it's a lot tougher like this, I'll tell you that much. See, so yeah, I'm uncomfortable with that, so I keep getting up, backing up. Ah, that's why I missed it. That and the fact I suck, I can't make a damn ball. <laughs> um... I remember the outcome of this match. That's why I mentioned it in the uh, the other video I did with this guy's brother. Um, 
It's different. It's different. The outcome's different. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to spoil it for you. You have to watch. You have to watch to, to find out what happens, the dramatic conclusion <laughs> of this two-part Stout special. We'll call it the Stout Jr. special. Teddy and Roger Stout Jr. I'm going to ask them next time I see them, how are they both juniors? That, that's so perplexing to me. All right, we finished that rack six to four. Bad guys, the good guys are down and out so far. Four, rat, four balls to six. Roger breaks. Looks like he made two. He made two balls here, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So now he's up eight to four. He's looking at cutting that. I. He should have enough room to cut it right up. I don't think that eight ball's in the way, really. Hmm. Maybe it was. But he got a hook on me. Now I got to I gotta try to contend with that five ball somehow, and there's no jumping in the APA, so I can't jump it. I wish there were, though. This shot would be a whole lot easier. Now I got to kick at it down table, long ways, try to make it. It's the only reason I would kick that way is if I was trying to make it. Oh, close one. Good try, Josh. Just not good enough. Not good enough. Better keep practicing, my friend. Roger comes up with a pretty easy pot on this ball. Let's draw, drew it back for the uh, the four ball. He's got the four seven combo here. It's a little off angle, so it's not super easy, but it's not extremely hard as far as combos go. I realize any combo sucks, right? It's not super easy, but this one's. As far as combos go, is not that difficult. I'd much rather not shoot a combo, though, because all combos are difficult to some, some degree, that's for sure. Good shot there. You better watch that scratch in that side pocket. Where are you going, cue ball? Okay. Came out with a thin cut on this four, no? I personally don't like this shot when the cue ball's on the rail like that and you're cutting thin. We'll see if he likes it or not. He made it. He must like it more than I do. I'll tell you that. I'll shoot this one with draw. He'll just drift over to that side rail for the six ball next. Good shot. He hit it a little hard, but he's fine. Uh, he can put a little bottom right on this one or top left. Bottom right takes it two rails. He used the top one rail. He didn't put the left on it, though. That's why he drifted away from the eight instead of towards the eight. If he would have put a little left, he would have drifted over towards the eight. That's a good shot. That's called a drag shot. He hit it with bottom firm enough for the bottom to almost stop right before it makes contact. That way it slows the cue ball after contact. It's called a drag shot. He finished that eight ball pretty easy. He's whooping me now. Holy macaroni, 16-4. Holy macaroni! <laughs> All right, he broke dry. Let's see if I can do something. I can't really do nothing. Before I even said that, I should have looked at the table because that one ball is. So I'm just going to push it up and give him an easy shot at it. You know, that's the best thing to do there when you <laughs> when you don't have a shot. Just give your opponent an easy shot and break it up for him too, though. Don't just give him an easy shot. Make the run out easy. You know, bad advice. Don't listen to me, guys. That's horrible. Horrible. That's what the Spanish call El Horrible. All right. He's got to watch his scratch a little bit. It's not too bad, though. I think he can follow past the pocket when he makes this one. You know, came over nice for that three. Slow down. Slow down, ball. He's looking good on this one. He can use a little bottom or stun with left English, and he'll end up shooting the four in this side pocket over. Ooh, he didn't go that way. Ooh, he went the danger route. I would have put left spin and come down to about the spot where you rack the balls and shot the four in the side myself. Um, this way is pretty good, though. It was just more dangerous. The reason this way was good, oh, he missed the shot. The reason his way was good is because it lent, uh, led better shapes for the five ball from there. You know, my way was safer. His way was actually a better as far as getting on the five ball. Both ways would have worked, though. 
Left me a long tester, which I nailed. Oh. Man, I hit that eight, now I'm dead on that five and I can't do nothing with it. Um, trying to look to see if there's a good safety here, really. I can try just touching it and going behind the eight ball, but that scratch is, you gotta be careful that scratch on this shot. This is a touchy shot right here. Okay. Executed it pretty well, I did. I mean, every now and then I can make a shot okay, I guess, you know? Makes up for the 99% of the time I make bad shots, you know? I just want to play pool good, guys. Why can't I play good pool, you know? Why can't I, why can't I play like Shane Van Boning, you know? Why? Because I got a real job, and I can't put 8, 10 hours a day on the table like, like that guy does, man. That's a fucking monster, Shane Van Boning. Shane Van Boning. All right, I got him kicking at this five ball. Let's see if he can hit it. Long rail, or short rail kick, long table. Good hit, good hit. He's going to leave me a shot in that side pocket, it looks like. And I can't tell if it's dead straight. Oh, it must be dead straight. So I'm going to roll forward and then shoot the six up in that corner where I was just looking. If I had an angle, I could stun up in between the uh, six and eight and shoot the six on the side. But when it's dead straight, I'm just going to roll forward. That's all I can do. And if I go too far, I can combo the six, eight. Oh, if I go way too far like that, and I can shoot the six down in the other corner. Right underneath where you're seeing me right now. Right down in this corner, right here. Just focus on that shot, Josh. Good. Good shot. Good shape, too. Drew it back two rails for the seven down in the other corner. I can stop it right there for the eight pretty easily. And then I should be out here. <laughs> I had to open my mouth huh, and say I should be out here. That's a, As soon as I said that, I missed that damn shot. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing to me that I can miss that straight-in shot like that. All the hours I put in on the pool table practicing and I miss a straight in shot like that. Hey, I'm going to give a quick shout out too. I played my local team qualifier this week. Um, I played pretty well actually. Our whole team played great. I think we went out and it was either the quarter or the semifinals. I can't remember which, but um, finally got whooped, man, personally. not. I mean, our team lost as well, but... Personally, I got whooped by, he's a friend of mine, his name's Andrew Bowen, uh, plays up here in my area. Guy was playing lights out, hats off to you, Andrew. Good shooting, man. I had him, at the start of the match, I was killing him. I think I went up like 30 or 40 points to like 8 or something like that. And then he, uh, he got a good roll, and I, I think I gave him ball in hand or just missed the shot, one of the two, and he just stepped it up. Started running out on me, playing safeties on me. Shut me down, really. And he ended up beating me pretty bad. I can't remember the final score, but it was bad. So, good job, Andrew. I'll get you next time, buddy. Don't worry. I won't forget that shit. You got, uh, you got a revenge match coming, my friend. Well, back to our, our regular, regularly, <laughs> our regularly scheduled program here. I don't even know. I shouldn't even try to say that word. It makes me feel like an idiot. Back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> All right, Roger, keeping the keeping the gas on. He's beating me twenty four to seven right now. This is a uh, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. I'm I'm literally embarrassed right now. Twenty four seven. He's got a good shot on this too. I don't know if he can draw it. He may have to follow. And shoot the three up table, what we call a short side shape. Oh, I don't know. He did follow, but I don't know why he hit it so hard. He could have just followed it up a little bit. Turned out nice for him because he hit the eight. Um, but I'm not sure why, why he hit that so hard. If he wouldn't have hit that eight, he would have been way up table. Or he would have hit the three and moved it somewhere. And he may not have ended up with a shot. What's he going to do here? Is he going to shape for the 5-9 combo, or is he going to come back? Oh, he's shaping for the 5-9 combo. Long 5-9 combo. 
This is a tester right here as far as combos go. This one's this one's a little bit tr tricky. For sure, a lot tricky, I'd say. He makes it though. Mm. The punishment continues. 29 to 7. Ooh. 29.99. 2 for 50. Alright, Roger to break off. Makes the nine on the break. Holy moly, when it rains, it pours, ladies and gentlemen. This one is rough. Holy shit, 31 to 7. I haven't been spanked like this since I was born, and the doctor slapped me on the ass. Tell you that, right meow. Right meow. T3 all. Dry break. Oh. Thank the Lord for small favors here, Roger. Thanks for that dry break, buddy. <laughs> so far, he hasn't uh, he hasn't been giving me too many opportunities. And the couple I've had, I've kind of screwed up. So, see if I can do something. Try to safety him here. I don't know if I got him. It looks like I might have leaked out. Don't tell me I leaked out enough for him to make the one six nine combo. Now, that would just be too much. I'd have to... No, probably, probably left-handed. <laughs> he's going to think about it for a minute. I think he's going to fire at this nine ball. Let's see. I think I left him the three ball combo. It might actually bank to the other side even. Oh, he tried it, and he missed it, but he got me hooked up behind that nine ball. Whew. Now I got to try to hit that one. And really, the only way to do it, I can see from here, is to shoot over top of the five off the short rail, and come back up table. Let's see if I can do that or not. Yeah, I'm going to take my time for sure. Um, and I'm not a big proprietor of taking too much time, but you got to take enough time to focus in on whatever you're doing, right? If you don't take the time to focus, then that's why people miss a lot of easy shots. You know, they get into a rhythm and they start going faster and faster. Next thing you know, they're missing a super easy shot and they're like, how did I miss that? Well, because you didn't give that shot the respect it deserved and focus on it. And when I'm shooting bad, when I'm struggling, I wouldn't say shooting bad, but definitely struggling this match. When I'm struggling on this match, I definitely have to put extra focus in and try to pull myself out of that struggle mode. Um, and then once I start feeling my stroke, you know, once I, I feel like, oh, that stroke felt good, I can hold on to it and usually keep it going. But um, some days you just struggle, man, and, and you try like hell to get out of it and you can't. Um, I'm hoping I do though, man, This because this is looking bleak. 7 to 32. Jeez, he's halfway there. And I'm barely got a mark on the board. <laughs> Holy shnikes, Batman. Holy shit balls. He's going to follow forward and shoot the three back in this other corner. Give himself enough angle. Like He's got good angle here. He's going to shoot the three, come off that top rail or bottom rail, whichever way you want to call it. And just come down a little bit for that four. Now, if he's smart, he'll come down a little further. So he's not. Yeah. See, now he has the angle that takes him towards that six ball. It would have been a whole lot easier to shape if he had the angle coming the other way. He just drew it to avoid it. But now he's got a little longer shot on the five, which really shouldn't be a problem. Roger's shooting good. He'll be able to make this, I bet. Um, but this path is taking him right at that nine ball, so he's got to watch that nine ball. Good shot. Good shot, Rog. Good shot, Roger Stout Jr. Good shot, man. Probably just make this uh, was no spin and come straight back over to this other rail. He put bottom spin on it, trying to get better shapes on the seven, and of course he hooked me. Of course, you know. When it rains, it pours. Can't uh, can't do nothing about that. Shit. Can't do nothing but hats off to you, dude. It's a good. So look at there. Oh, almost made him pay. Pay up, sucker. Pay up. All right. 
Roger's looking very intently at this shot. What's he going to do here, ladies and gentlemen? What's he going to do? Is he going to bank it or is he going to try to cut it in past the nine? He's going to bank it and then make the nine, you son of a bitch. Good shot, Roger. Jeez, stop the bleeding. Someone got a tourniquet? Tourniquet? Is that what they're called? Tourniquet? I need it. Stop the bleeding, man. It's killing me. I feel like I'm in the guillotine right now. It's tough to watch. I think I can make the seven. Looks like they're wired. Yeah, they were wired. Man, I wish I would have hit that nine right there, though, so I would have had a better shot on this one. This is that shot I was saying earlier. I didn't like the cue balls on the rail, and I got a thin cut on the one. This one's not super thin, though. Uh, I normally make this shot. I say normally. But yeah. <laughs> That's why I say normally, because I know I'm struggling in this match so far. Uh Normally I can make that shot, but when, I'm, when you're struggling, every shot feels hard, you know? You get down to shoot. When you're shooting good, you get down and look, and everything looks so easy. Like you can almost see a laser line going to where you need to hit the ball. And then when you're struggling, it's the opposite. Even easy shots, you get down on them, and you're looking at it, and you're thinking, this shot's hard, you know? <laughs> Even if it's real easy. It's crazy, man. Pool's a crazy game. That's why I love it. So uh, it's different every time and unpredictable. When you're shooting good, it's different. When you're shooting bad, it's different. You know, different for different opponents, different games. There's just so many facets to this game. It's by far one of my favorite things to do in life is to shoot pool. My second favorite thing to do. You know, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, little Timmy. I see you out there. I see you over there. All right, I'm making a little comeback now. I'm up to 11. I got, oh, shit. I was making a comeback till I missed an easy shot in the side pocket. That was a hanger. A blind man could have made that shot. I'm not sure what the hell I'm doing. Too bad, so sad. All right. Now, he's looking at a tough shot here. He's uh real close to that rail. He's... Got a, a weird cut. It's a weird cut, right? It's not a real hard cut, but from where his cue ball was, it makes it hard. If he had been like middle table, that same cut, it's a lot easier. But back there towards that rail, that cut's tough. All right, I should be able to make this and just follow forward slowly. And I should have the five ball pretty easy next. Or I can go two rails like that. That's fine too. Don't want to end up on that rail. All right, I bounced off it enough. That should be good. Looks like I can just draw back a little bit or a lot of bit and shoot the, the six in either corner. If I had more angle, I could... Uh-oh. Gosh, man. That's... uh. <laughs> I can see the frustration on my face while I'm playing. And uh, I, feel, I feel frustrated right now. And I'm not even... This match is weeks old, you know? Weeks ago, I played this match, and it still makes me frustrated watching it. The way I'm playing right now is tough, man. All right, Raj. Finish these last two balls up. Give me a new rack. Give me a new lease on life. Let's go. Nice two-rail shape on that nine. This, uh, this nine ball shouldn't be a problem for him. should be nice and easy. Just stuff it in the hole, just like prom night. Good job, Raj. Good job, Raj. Let me rack them for you. Hold, hold on. Let me, let me go ahead and rack them. Five balls gonna drop? No, dry break again. All right, Josh. Time to, time to take a dump or get off the damn pot, my friend. You know, you can't just sit there all day. You get hemorrhoids. It's crazy. Crazy talk. Craziness. Bit of a cut here, but the shapes, I think I'll go two rails for the shapes. Yep, two rails for the shapes. That was a good shape. It was actually a pretty good shot considering how I'm shooting right now. The shape wasn't super easy. It was pretty precise. A lot of stuff in the way. 
All right, now normally I would just follow this forward and shoot the three up table, but right now when I'm struggling, that feels like a hard shot, but it's the right shot, so I played it anyway. Now I got a, a good enough angle. If I just focus on making this center ball, I should the stun line, the tangent line, should take me right over to the other rail, uh, just below that side pocket where I can actually make the four. Nice. Okay, okay, there may be hope yet. I'm starting to shoot. Starting to shoot. I have can't. I've made some hellacious comebacks recently. You guys have seen the videos. Will this be another one? This will be a good comeback. He only needs 25. I need 2,868,000. Figure that shit out. Don't take off your shoes to count your toes. I see you. I see you over there. Taking off your shoes. Cheating. Get an abacus. Ooh, I got. Did I just hook myself? That was a fantastic safety I just played on myself. Man, I wish I'd have played it on him. Oh, made a good hit. Am I going to make it? Nah, I can't get lucky. I can't get lucky like that. No way. No way. Yeah, you notice I'm wearing a, a hoodie, a sweatshirt. It's, uh, it's the middle of June. Got down to 40 degrees here last night, guys. Welcome to Michigan. I woke up freezing this morning. I've been wearing a sweatshirt all day. I refuse to turn my heat on. You know, once it's June, the heat is permanently off until about September. Maybe I'll turn it back on in September, but I refuse to turn the heat on in, in the summertime. That's crazy talk. So here I am, park it up, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like boys in the hood now. What's up, homie? What's up, G? <laughs> I gotta talk about something I'm sitting here by myself watching my other self on camera get my ass whipped gotta fill the time friends fill the time oh that was a good roll he almost missed that I was hoping he missed it you know <laughs> I was hoping hoping I could get back to the table and do something he left himself a real tough one here though um Really, he's got to make this in the corner with draw, but then he's going to go towards the nine, so he can either overdraw or underdraw, or he can run into the nine. That was a smart way to play it, but he missed the shot. All right, can I finish these last two balls? There's only two balls left. Can I finish them? What's going on up there? Get back in your cage. Sorry, I'm telling, talking to my kids upstairs. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't call the cops on I me. Mean, I don't have kids in the cage. Don't worry about it. My kids are adults. They're both adults. One's 18, one's 22. Of course, living in a cage their whole life has stunted their growth. So they don't look, they don't look at it. I finally won a rack and get to break. Holy mackerel. I forgot what it was like. How do I break? Oh, am I going to scratch? No. Look at there. I broke. Did I make a ball? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope. I thought maybe I broke, made a ball, and didn't scratch, but nah, nah, not me, not today, not today. All right, Rogers back up for some more. Uh, his foot's got to be tired from kicking my ass, I'm sure. Oh, he's going to play a safety on me? That was a, that was a well-played shot right there, Roger. Pretty inventive. I think he underhit it slightly. Uh, I can still see. I might even still be able to make it, but that was a pretty pretty creative safety. Played the one over by the five, and he was sending the cue ball up behind the six. That was a good shot. I think he left me enough to make it, possibly, though. If, if I were shooting, I could make this ball, I bet. Right. Those guys were stopping, waiting for me to shoot. I hate that. I always let people go by when they do that. I hate wait, knowing someone's waiting for me to shoot, you know, like they're waiting to walk by. So I always let them walk by before I shoot. Just because I'm always thinking in my mind, I got to hurry up. I got to hurry up. They're waiting for me. I'm going to move this microphone to the other side over there. I'm not sure if you guys can hear all that racket going on upstairs. It sounds like someone's playing a game of Jumanji upstairs. The rhinoceroses are running through the living room right now or some shit. All right, I left.
left him a pretty easy shot here, right? Maybe an even easier out. Let's see what he can do. Okay, played it with a little right. I'm not sure he came out far enough. He wanted to come out a little more to get a good look at that two ball, but the three may have him blocked up now. Oh, he could see it. He just missed it. <clears throat> He's going to hook me, though. That's the way it works. He's been hooking me like that all game. Uh, I might be able to make a hit on this ball. I think I can go between the five and six and at least hit it. And really, the only thing I can do is try to safety him back and put some right spin, try to send the two up by the six and spin the cue ball over to the other side of the table. Yeah, like that. Not bad considering the shot I had. Not bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby, Krabby Patty. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just talking words, you know. We like to use them sometimes. Sometimes they form sentences. Sometimes they don't. You know? Sometimes just gibber jab. Gibberish. Oh, he's going to leave me an actual shot this time. It's a long one. Albeit a long one, I have a shot. See if I can make this ball now. Jeez. Just need a good stroke. There you go. That's not bad. Am I going to hook myself? No, I've got two shots. Two shots in a row. Imagine that. Look at there. I cut his lead into almost half. Not quite half. <laughs> almost. All right. Can I make this shot too up against the rail? Really, it's, it's funny watching the shoot right now because I feel like every shot's tough just watching. Um, just because I know I know how I'm playing right now on this video, and it's not great. It's definitely not great. Can I make three in a row? That'll be amazing if I can make three balls in a row. Oh my gosh, it's a Christmas miracle in in June. Christmas miracle in June. Made three balls in a row. Don't worry, I won't make four probably. Look at this shot. I got to back cut that five, and well, I should hit the six, so I don't think the scratch is an issue. I, I could make this, no problem, probably. Yeah, look at that. Never a doubt. Never a doubt. Can I make a, yet another one? This is an amazing run. <laughs> Okay, I can. Look at me. I might actually get all the way. No, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Every time I say it, you guys know. You know what happens. Every time I talk about it, it doesn't work. So we're just going to watch together and enjoy. See, look at this cut now. Jeez. Do I, cut? I think I got to cut it to the right. That way I can get shapes on that nine ball. Oh, and the crowd goes wild. I can't believe I made that shot. I thought for sure I was going to miss that one, man. Thought for sure I was going to miss it. Oh, I finished an entire rack almost. That's amazing. And I cut the lead less than half now, 28.45. Can I come back? If I continue uh, feeling good and making shots, then I'm going to start getting my stroke. And it's possible I could come back here. It is not impossible. It is indeed plausible. I learned that word from Mythbusters. Plausible. This myth is not busted. It's plausible. Broke dry. Of course. Roger is going to fire at that one, miss it, and leave me a bad shot. Amazing. It's amazing. It's almost like uh, you can set your watch by the fact that he's going to miss and hook me. You know what I mean? That's what happens, though. He's shooting good, so when you're shooting good, you tend to get luckier rolls. Oh, that's a good safety, Josh. Nice shot. Bravo. Bravo, kid. When you're shooting bad... Don't try to run out. Try to play smart, you know. You're struggling. You're struggling to run out. Don't try to run out. Play good safeties. Play smart. 
Is he going to make a hit? Nope. He missed it. Now I get ball in hand. Holy macaroni. The tide's starting to turn, maybe. The tide's a changing. Now I mentioned this was at Side Pockets. Side Pockets in Lapeer. I always say it's in Lapeer, but actually it's in Elba. E-L-B-A. But that town is about this big, and nobody ever knows where it's at. Lapeer, instead of being this big, is this big. Some people know where it's at. So I like to say it's in Lapeer. It's right next to Lapeer, pretty close, a couple miles. All right, I'll put some right English on this and probably shoot the three in the side, unless I hit it too far, like that, and I push the, the eight ball. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that. I hit the eight with my stick and it rolled back over in front of the three. Uh, but in the APA, the rule is if you move a ball during a shot, the ball must be moved back. There's no option. Um, in fact, the rule is the opponent must move the ball back. In this case, he just told me to move it back, and I moved it back. I'm going to play him another safety. That's a good, smart shot, smart decision. Smart decision. I know I'm not running out, especially with that five ball locked up like that. So play him another safety, see what happens from here. Oh, I missed it. He was trying to spin it off the rail and hit it. And he missed it. Still got that five ball to contend with, though. And the four is not even in a great spot either. I think that's the four by the nine, unless that's the eight. Yeah, that's the four. If I would have got the right angle on this, I could have shot the four up in the corner and rolled forward to try to hit the eight five. Now, not so much. I might stun one rail off the side and back over towards it. Or, oh, okay, I was trying, I see what I was trying to do there. I was trying to hit the four into the eight five and draw the cue ball back behind the seven and safety them at the same time breaking those other balls out. I failed miserably, but that's what I was trying to do, you know? Sometimes you fail, sometimes you get knocked down, but you get up again, never going to keep me down. All right, Roger on the five. Roger, Roger. 10-4, Roger. Over and out, Roger. Made that five pretty easily. I'm going to shoot the six. He'll probably shoot the six in that, uh, as you're looking at the screen, bottom left corner pocket. That, that'll that lend the cue ball to travel up by that seven. Yeah, good shot. Good shot there. Now he's got a good shot on the seven ball. He'll just run it straight top, maybe a little top left, and probably shoot the eight in the side is what I would do. Yeah. Well, he overran it a little. So now when he shoots the eight in the side, instead of, he may be able to still hold it there for the nine doing a light shot. I would punch this and come down off the bottom rail and back up a little bit. It's easier. Yeah, that's what he liked to. He overhit it a bit. So he's got a longer shot on the nine, but it's a seven foot table. So he's not worried about that. He's going to finish this. 52. He's got 52, I got 31. Oh, man, Roger, Roger, Roger. Whooping that ass. Another dry break? Yes, sir, another dry break. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> it's one of my favorite movie quotes. So you're saying there's a chance from Dumb and Dumber, in case you were wondering. I know you already knew, little Timmy. I see you out there. There's, right now, there's some guy named Timmy watching this going, what the fuck? He's talking to me? What the hell? Who is this guy? He's basically got ESPN or something. He knows I'm watching. It's so crazy. It's weird. <laughs> now, I feel like my humor is very strange. And I feel like if you're, if you're enjoying this content, then your humor is probably also strange. <laughs> so hey we're all strange together don't worry about it forget about it forget about it somehow i managed to make a ball there and i don't know if i'm gonna cut this past that four or if i'm gonna bank it if there's room i'd like to cut it but there must not have been too much room because i played the bank and it was a decent bank too and i got good shapes on that too now i can make this two withdraw 
this is a touchy shot because if you hit too much of the rail, you'll come down and, and you'll have too much of an angle on that three. Yeah, there you go. Just draw it straight back, make the three. Now the four sitting in the pocket. So this is really, all I got to do is get back up table and make sure I don't hit one of those other balls, you know. Straight top should do it here. Straight top should come in between the six, seven. Oh, I hit the seven a little bit, though. Didn't want to do that, I can promise you. All right, though, that four is sitting right in the pocket. I should be able to make that. I was looking to see if it's frozen on the rail. Because if it's frozen on the rail, I just play it with a little left spin and spin it in, which also gives me great shapes on the five as well because I should come down behind that six ball in between the six and the rail. Oh, no, I played it with right. Okay, I must not have been frozen or I didn't like that shot for whatever reason. Whatever reason is, I hit it too hard. I can still make the five, though, but now i got to come off the rail and hit the nine to stop right there for a shot on the six. Yep. Nope. Good shot. Now, if the seven goes past the eight, I just play a little stun left or a little draw left and come down about the middle of the table for, for the seven ball. If it doesn't, then I'm going to miss the shot and purposely leave him easy. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's not at all what I was trying to do. I was trying to follow up for the seven in the side. Of course. Jeez, I wish I could make a dang shot from time to time, you know? Life would be a whole lot, pool life would be a whole lot easier if I could make more than two or three balls in a row. I might have had a chance in this match, maybe. As it stands now, this guy only needs 13 points, and I need 258,264. So we'll see what happens here. Can you guys hear the game of Jumanji going on upstairs? It's so loud up there. Sorry about that, if you guys can hear that. I don't know if you can hear it or not. You know, I got family. I tell them I'm recording. I come downstairs, I record. They don't give a fuck. They're loud as shit. I think they're playing the drums up there, you know, singing. They're playing a gig in my living room right now. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, I'm getting killed here on this game. If he makes this, he'll be up 57 to 36. It's a proper ass whooping right there. Proper, good and proper. Yep, 57, 36. So this guy needs uh, eight points. I need uh, 205, I forget. It's a lot, though. It's a lot. It's more than I can count. Without taking off my shoes, at least, you know. I need those extra digits. Did he get a dry break and hook me? Sure, sure as hell did. I wouldn't have it no other way there. I wouldn't have a dry break workout no other way. Oh, maybe I can see that one. Let's see. It's close. Yeah, I could see it. I just couldn't make it, you know? Sometimes you can sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. <laughs> Man, that was a rough one there, boy. All right. I mean, he could he could beat me here if he can make this ball and get on the two. But it was, a, it was a lot to ask. That was a hard shot to begin with, and the two was pretty locked up. So that was ugly. But good news for him, he left me just as ugly because it's a hard shot on the one, and the two's still locked up, just in a different spot. So in a perfect world, I would make that one withdraw and, and almost hit the seven full in the face, you know? In a not perfect world, I'm going to play a safety. Which is, that's a smart idea. But I don't think I actually got him safe. I think he can see this shot. Um, we're about to find out. I think I tried to play a safety and messed it up. Hit it a little too hard, maybe. That cue ball would have stayed back down on that bottom rail. Would have got him good. Nice shot. He made a nice shot there. But <clears throat> could have hit it a little harder. He would have ran into that two and maybe come away with another shot. Instead, he's, gonna, he's just going to graze the side of the two and send the cue ball back over by that corner pocket and hook me. Yeah, a pretty easy standard safety there. I think he didn't hit it hard enough, or I don't think he counted on hitting the six. Now I can see the edge of this two. 
Anytime you can see the ball and hit it, you can do something with it. may not be able to make it, but you can move that ball and control your cue ball to try to get safe, you know. So I'm, I'm probably going to nick this on the edge and send the cue ball up table and try to get back down behind all that shit. I don't know if I can do it or not, though. Yeah, try to get back down table. Nah, I'm just going to line them up. That's sometimes the fun way to go. Just give them an easy shot, you know. Just let. Sometimes you got to let your opponent beat you. I mean, it's just the way it is. <laughs> It's not my nature to ever let anybody beat me, but it happens a lot. I don't let it happen. It just happens, you know? Nobody likes losing. It's funny. I hear those people all the time talk about, well, we're just here to have fun. You know, we just do this for fun. Me too. And it's I'll tell you from experience, it's a whole lot more fun when you win. It's I mean, it's not, not quite. I don't know anybody who has fun losing, you know? I mean, you may have fun while you're playing, but when you lose, it's not fun. Nobody likes that. Nobody. And if you tell me you do, you're a liar. You're a liar. You know? Like how I'm censoring myself. Did you guys see that? You mother. <laughs> Meanwhile, Roger's at the table. He only needs four balls. And there's five left on the table, so I may be in trouble right here. It may be lights out all she wrote. We'll just have to see if he can do it. That eight ball might be my only saving grace. I mean, I think it goes past the nine over here in the bottom left corner, but I'm not 100% certain. If it does, he needs it. You know, he's got to make this one, the next one, and the eight. And if he can do that, lights out for me. It all comes down to this shot and how he shapes the eight, really. Oh, he missed the shot. So you're saying there's a chance. Not really. But kind of. I mean, he still needs two balls. I'm at the table. I'm still shooting. My arm's not broken. So I could potentially come back. You know what I mean? I've seen crazier things happen. Let's see. I would need a 40, 50, 60, 70. I would need a 39-ball run to beat him. So basically, I have to finish this and run... Almost three racks. No, almost four racks. Three and a half racks. Oh, and I can't even make one ball, so I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about running racks and I'm missing straight in shots over here. Timmy, you know. You know that feeling. <laughs> Poor Timmy, man. I don't even know Timmy, but one day I'm going to run into somebody somewhere and he's going to be like, hey, I watch your YouTube channel. My name's Timmy. And he's probably going to sock me in the face, you know. Quit talking shit about me, Josh. And I'll apologize and cry like a little baby, you know. Oh, I missed it again, man. Oh, no, that was him. He missed it. Yay. Yay. Let me get some, I'm going to edit in some applause there probably. No, I can't do it now that I said it, you know. Wouldn't be as good. Maybe I'll edit it in anyway. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Oh, am I going to scratch? Don't do it, you son of a... All right. So the eight must go that way, too. In my head right now, I'm hearing the Rocky theme music. Oh, I was until I screwed this shape all up. Shit to bed here. Look at this cut. <clears throat> what an idiot. What a maroon. See how that lady just stopped in my, in my field of vision? She didn't just keep going past me. She's going to stop right next to me. <laughs> That's awesome when people do that. I love it. And I can't believe I made that cut, by the way. So 40 to 63. I'm only down by 23. Now I'm only doing, down by uh, two racks. But problem is I got I to gotta get 10 more balls than he does. So there's a scratch. Yeah. It's right there. One and two are hanging. I give him the game. Hats off to Roger. Good shooting, bud. I appreciate everybody out there. Once again, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, hit the button. You know, like I said, it doesn't cost you nothing and it helps me out a ton. Just subscribe or, or comment and tell me you shut the F up and you hate my content. That's fine too, but do something. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one.